My name is Glenn Przborski, and I'm a director of cinematographer. I work primarily in the field of TV commercials for advertising agencies and clients across the country. For the past 10 months, I've been involved testing and evaluating a new optical anti-aliasing filter specifically designed for the Canon 5D Mark II. Now, when this camera came out at the end of 2008, it literally changed the way a lot of productions all around the world are done. But if you've studied the footage from the camera and you looked at it carefully, you'll notice there's two major problems. The Canon 5D Mark II shoots amazing quality still photography with its 21 megapixel imager. But when it shoots video, it has to reduce that imager down to just a little bit over two megapixels to make up the 1920 by 1080 picture. And the way it's done and the way it continues to be done until electronics gets a whole lot faster than it is now, is they use a technique called line skipping. And what that means is you might read the first line of pixels, skip two lines, read the fourth line of pixels, and then repeat that pattern over and over again. Each of these new scans become one of the lines in the 1080 picture. And it's kind of a complicated mathematical thing, but you can see the problems because image is still being photographed on those pixels that aren't being scanned. And what happens is as you slowly tilt or pan left and right, those portions of those images fall into the scanned area and you get those jaggies and other problems that are known as aliasing. The other problem the 5D Mark II has when it shoots video is called moray pattern interference. Now this is that crazy rainbow effect that happens certain times. It could be when you're filming a rug, it could happen with certain fabrics, it could even be a wall of bricks. It's totally and completely unpredictable when this problem happens. The worst thing a 5D Mark II can shoot is a wide angle, highly detailed scene with just a slow amount of camera movement. That's a recipe for problems. What I have in my hand is the solution for most of the Canon 5D Mark II's aliasing and moray pattern interference problems. It's called the VAF 5D II and it was created by Dr. David Kubansky of Mosaic Engineering in State College, Pennsylvania. Dr. Kubansky is a scientist with over 20 years experience in developing optical anti-aliasing components. The filter itself consists of multiple layers of bifringent optical material, including lithium niobate and crystalline quartz. Installing or removing this filter requires absolutely no modifications to your Canon camera. First of all, you should make sure you're in a room that's pretty free of blowing dust or dirt. That's common sense. You should do that whenever you change the lens on a camera. But what you do first is make sure your filter is clean. Make sure that it has no physical smudges. An actual fingerprint smudge might show up in the picture, so you don't want that. Set the filter down. Turn your camera off. Make sure it's off. Then remove the lens. Once you remove the lens, turn the camera back on and at that time press the live view button and as you can see when you press live view it opens the shutter and it opens the mirror grab the filter making sure that the filters top side and it's clearly marked is up and simply slide the filter inside the Canon 5D Mark II you turn the camera off and put the lens back on that's all there is to it you just then go about shooting video and you pretend the filter is not even there. Now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to remove the anti-aliasing filter from your 5D Mark II. Here's what you do. First of all, make sure your camera is turned off and remove the lens. And you'll note there's a little tiny hole on the left and right of the uh, filter and that's because there's a special wire removal tool that's supplied with each filter and all you do is place that wire removal tool into the left and right holes and simply gently pull the filter out of the camera. At that point, you put the lens back on and now your 5D Mark II is back to its original configuration. Whenever you put any optical element between the back of a lens and your CMOS imager, you change the apparent flange focal distance optically between the lens and the imager. For example, nothing in the camera changes. There's no physical change, but the lens thinks it's about a millimeter to two millimeters closer to your imager. 
And what that means is the indicated focus on your lenses is not going to be the same as the actual focus. For example, on this 35 millimeter lens, when you're indicated to be about three feet, you'll probably be actually at about infinity. And this lens's minimum indicated focus is about 12 inches when with that filter in place in the camera, your minimum focus will be about 14 and a half inches. And it's a little bit of a trade-off, but I'd much rather have a higher quality image than have these numbers be exactly right. Besides, whenever you operate the 5D Mark II, you're looking at the live view screen in the back and your eyes can't even see what's in these little tiny windows. Your zoom lens becomes a variable focal lens as opposed to an actual zoom. That means it's not going to track focus whenever the anti-aliasing filter is in place. You have to zoom in or out till you frame your scene and then focus. And once again, it's a trade-off, but I think a valid trade-off to get the much higher quality image. I've had the experience of testing various prototypes and now the final version of Mosaic Engineering's new anti-aliasing filter on both commercial projects and other things. I've actually used it on on-air TV spots. And I can tell you honestly that I would never consider shooting any commercial video with a 5D Mark II without having that filter inside. Thanks for watching and appreciate your time.